The Edge. Here we are with Kendra. Hello, welcome to Australia. Hey, it's so good to be here. It's awesome. We're so happy that the weather's turned out beautiful for you because sometimes we interview people and they're like, yeah, we were expecting something better because it's like what? cold and rainy. Yeah, well, well I mean, there's... even if it was cold and rainy, I, I, I think it's an amazing place. It's not because of you know, a bridge or whatever. It's because of the people and mm. it's because of the food and all the real stuff. When the food, <laughs> really? I have never Oh, we've got had great one, food. Yeah. Uh, seafood, yeah. I've yeah, never no. had one bad meal yet. It's true. Have you had a meat pie yet? No. Oh, you'll have to try that. Yeah. It is okay. true though. When you travel the world, Australia's got the freshest produce and the nicest yes. food. Yes. And a lot of people don't realize that. Um, I know. I'm obsessed with fruit. So I, I oh. think the fruit here is to die for. It's, it's amazing. Like, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Now you're into uh, the fourth season of your show, Kendra, yes. already. Do you enjoy being in front of the cameras? I mean, are they constantly following you when you're doing it? You're aware that they are there? Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's. I, I've been on TV for, TV for nine seasons now, and that's a long time. And, and by the ninth season, you're basically, you think of a camera as just like a fly on the wall. You know, and it doesn't feel like anything anymore. You don't, you remember, you don't even think about them anymore. So that's why our show works is because we don't even remember that they're there and we give you yep. all the real stuff. Great. Do you ever have to censor yourself or do you ever think, no. oh, I don't want to let that out? <laughs> I don't believe in censoring myself. I think that, um, it, that's, it, that's who I am. And I, I don't, you know, I don't think about censoring myself. I'm just, you know, I'm an outspoken, uh, non-caring, just very outgoing person. And yeah. that's, I, I love to be that way, you mm -hmm. know? Well, it wouldn't be entertaining if you were. Yeah, exactly. Boring, you right? Have to yourself. Well, you've done a lot of TV work. Would you ever consider having a movie role? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. I was actually asked not too long ago if, if it would be okay for somebody to write a movie, my movie. And I'm like, oh, well, you know. That'd be cool. Yeah. Based, based on your life? <laughs> yeah. Now, would yeah. you play that or would you want a not, celebrity to Not who, me, who but would I would choose. Uh, <laughs> Surely you've thought about it. Jeez, man. Jeez. Uh, I would have to say, um, I, you know, no A-lister. I like I like just... Okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. Think think of a couple names. In well, there. Brad Pitt would do mine, uh, obviously. <laughs> obviously, you know, because yeah. the likeness is uncanny. <laughs> uh, um, who could play Wait, you? How can you say that without offending someone? Because you don't know whether you're going <laughs> to... Yeah. It would have to well, be. Anna Faris has done something. Like, she's done the she's house done bunny. Anna Faris could funny, do it. And she yeah. seems to be quite and she's honest and blonde and <laughs> I hot. Think, I think I'm a little bit more serious than her. As much right. as I am yeah. outspoken and, and I have humor, I'm not... I think I'm more serious than that, though. She she's very funny, mm. and she that's each she plays the comedian in each in each uh, movie. Yeah, okay. But I think I would have to be be someone that's very balanced like that. That has that's funny, but that's serious, but that you know, it's a sporty girl. You know, and God, you're making casual. it hard. I know. <laughs> You'll just have to do it. You'll have to okay, do it yourself. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now, you met Hugh on your on his, not yours, on his 78th birthday. Um, how did you get into the place? Was, was it hard? It wasn't hard because I didn't even try. <laughs> did you get picked out? I, I never even tried to begin with. I never even, like, knew what was going on. I mean, my picture was sent to the Playboy Mansion without even me really even knowing. Mm -hmm. And... They picked up my picture and said, who is this girl? Call her and we want her here. And uh, and I got the call and I said, OK. And I just went right up to the mansion. And, right. And uh, so it wasn't even that I tried. I didn't even know that it was happening. <laughs> is it true that at his 78th birthday that you were walking with only body paint? Yeah. On? And it was scary. <gasps> it would be because only no body girl, paint. like every girl is so self-conscious uh -uh. about her body, that no matter was, how hot you are. That was probably the most uh, traumatizing experience <laughs> ever. No underwear? Like we're talking it's nothing. painting. Oh, it's yeah. Like, yeah. It, uh, uh, that I would never ever in my life do that ever again. Is the that life was that was probably worse than posing for Playboy? Really? Wow. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, everyone can see you, can't they? Yeah. yeah. Is the life in the mansion as glamorous as it's made out to be, or is it like okay, today no. we've got to clean the toilet? No, it's very casual and very mature. And <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 different. I mean, it's a lot different than people than people think. What's the craziest thing that you saw or experienced while you were living at the mansion? You know, I don't even even think the crazy parts were even there. I think it was not not there. You know, I think that uh, it was very uh, just a grown up environment and nothing that crazy. Oh, I mean, man, of course, I heaps of saucy I mean, just, stuff would go down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess uh, 
I'll leave it up to your guys' imagination. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, just like every, what everybody does is drink and have some fun. And just like you think of it like a, as a college, like, you know, frat party, party or, yeah. you know, and that's just kind of what it feels like. Well, with that in mind, did you think that it was going to last forever living there, being married? Um, you didn't kind of in the back of your mind think, oh, this is fun. This is fun. But how long can it go on? Oh, every day. Right. Every day I yeah. had that in my it's mind. It's not normal. Yeah, right? I prepare. And, and that's what you like. That's what people know. Cause I, you know, I just wrote, uh, I wrote two books, you mm. know, sliding into home that, which is being printed out here right now. And, mm-hmm. and, uh, being Kendra and, and sliding into home was definitely the story about the mansion. And, and yeah. Would would you say that being married to him was kind of in the back of your mind, an interim relationship? Oh, I knew, I knew every day that it wouldn't, you know, it would be it, an expiration date. I, I, I set goals and dreams while I was there. You know, yeah. I, that wasn't the dream that I had. Yeah. You know, that was, I wasn't living in my dream there. That was actually, I was having a great time being young, being free. But, um, but I, I still had my dreams and my dreams were to, to be married one day and to have a child and that's, and, and just I'm, have one guy yeah, yeah and not yeah. have the guy. And, and a whole I, bunch I'm of very women. traditional to tell yeah. you the truth yeah. as much as, I mean, I had my crazy fun, you know, days, but get them um, out of your system. It, yeah. Speaking of your baby, mm-hmm. um, you suffered from postnatal depression. Yes. And what kind of things did you experience? What happened? Um, again, I have a I have a second book, so it's hard to just say in like one you know in like one minute mm-hmm. what really went on. But I could just tell you that, um, you know, I had a gray cloud over my head, and you know, I never went into pregnancy knowing even knowing about po- postpartum depression. Mm-hmm. I didn't even think about it. I didn't even it goes know on about a lot it. though, doesn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't even know about it. So it wasn't something it wasn't like a pre thought like, oh I'm gonna after I give birth, I'm gonna have dep- depression. I didn't want d- depression, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now that I'm here now I could I could think back to that point that I was at and really say I, w- I was in a dark place, you know, and I wasn't I, w- I wasn't me. I was a different person and um and you know, now now I see it. I really see that I was in a darker place than I than I thought then. Is it just something that you kind of get over or do you have to really pull yourself out of it? You have to do a lot a lot you have to you have to find time for yourself and really get down to the bottom of it and what you know, what is it, you know, because you need a lot. You need to do a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching, and a lot of talking with friends and family. Well, it's good you've got a supportive husband as well. Yeah. Now, is this true that it's the first time you've lived on your own without sort of any help? Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. How do you find it? Is it like you've got to do all these domestic duties yeah, that you never like the washing and cleaning the toilet <laughs> yeah. and changing nappies and cooking and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, but that's you know I never even gave that up while I was at the mansion. You know, I I prepared myself. I, I like doing the dirty work because you know that's that's real life right there. You know what's what? your favorite domestic chore? Yeah, because I like cleaning. I I know it's weird, but I actually enjoy <laughs> his cleaning. Steam mop is like his most steam mop vacuum. <laughs> that's I see. Such I do. A dog. <laughs> I, I'm a, you know I'm different now and I, I i love to clean now too but um i don't really have the time to clean but the, i guess you can come I, and clean my house yeah. if you want i, mean, it's I guess I'm, I'm ocd about about the floors yeah. i'm crazy about floors yeah they've got to be spick and span you know what i cleaned the other day <laughs> vacuum steam mop yeah sat down on the lounge a little bit of fluff you know? <laughs> little bit you lost and that you know, what, do you know what's wall. funny is that here i am talking about how ocd i'm about floors but the first episode you're gonna see on tuesday night at 9 30 <laughs> on e is yeah. there's a pee stain on my floor oh, oh my god how so, did that get there yeah exactly we'll find out yeah <laughs> <laughs> now a lot of celebrities have to deal with sex tape scandals and all that kind of stuff whether they're real or not mm-hmm. how do you deal with something like that being a member like in the public eye yeah um well celebrities we we have to deal with we don't we can't live our lives you know and think about the future our our past is always our future Mm. and which can haunt you Mm. and which can be very hard to to deal with and uh that's 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 just the consequence of of what you do you know and uh you just have to have the thickest skin you do and just uh you know, just take it's it's like you're gonna be shot in the back so many times, but you gotta you gotta you gotta just take it and just uh Would you give it up? Like you know, often I see some celebrities that I can tell they're not enjoying the fame. Um, would you go to a quiet sort of suburban life tomorrow if you could there are pros and cons to everything. And let me tell you, um being here in Australia is because of my job. 
Mm-hmm. That's and true. I, I could and <laughs> yeah. I would I couldn't be more thankful for yeah. my job. There's gotta be some positive. But at the you same time, that past that's that's brought up, like that's that I have to I have to live my life in the past, not the future, you know? And that's yeah. that's the hard part. One quick question before we go. Uh-huh. There was a lot of controversy surrounding Hugh Hefner and Crystal Harris. And she there were a lot of playmates that came out and said it's all bull what she was saying, can't believe like Hugh's not like that at all. Um what what would you say to, to put the record straight? Um it's he's over it i'm over it it's you know hef you know he's he's who hefner again um and that girl i don't even know her name um she didn't even crystal harris we can put that name to a rest because right. that name is destroyed now but uh yeah. We could we could put that name to a rest, but Hugh Hefner lives on. Yay, I'm sure he's not going to be bothered by one girl, is he? At the end of the day, she's yeah. just one girl out of a list of exactly. Men. <laughs> and he can pick another one just as easily. That's true. Oh, look, we love the show, Kendra. It is going to be on tonight, 9:30 on E. Make sure you get Foxdown. It'll be on 9:30 every Tuesday. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you, guys.